No excuses everyone, today we're going to work on achieving sexy shoulders and upper arms. I'm Samantha Clayton, fitness expert and former competitive sprinter. I'm working with Herbalife to help you achieve a healthy active life. Do you dream about having strapless dress worthy shoulders or guns that will make your friends envious? If the answer is yes, then join me for a 10 minute upper body strength workout to help your dreams become a reality. But before we get started, let's take a moment to talk about weights. You don't necessarily need to reach for the heaviest weight option to develop your muscles. It's possible to build muscle and improve your strength using moderate weight by focusing on a slow and controlled tempo for all of your movements. It's a time that your muscles are under tension and working hard that will enhance your strength building potential. Now let's get to it. We're starting out with a mini warm up, focusing on the upper body to get ready for our workout. Gently roll your neck from one side to the other. Just loosen off the shoulders. Look from one side to the other. And then gently start to roll your shoulders back. Stay nice and relaxed. Roll a few times forward. And then let's make the movements bigger with windmill arms. Starting out forward and then back. Now place both arms straight out in front of you and circle the wrists and open and close the hands. Change direction. Now open your arms out wide to stretch the chest and then cross them in front of you to loosen your back and shoulders. Enjoy the stretch. Last one. And then let's do a jog to get your blood flowing. Start to over exaggerate the arm movements to further prepare your upper body for weights. About 30 seconds will do. And you know a warm up is not complete without jumping jacks. Come on, you can do 30 seconds. Let's make the movements bigger overhead. Now our first upper body exercise is a single arm reciprocal press. Pick up your weights and let's start out with this shoulder exercise. Now stand in an athletic stance with your knees slightly bent. Hold your weights with your palms facing in at shoulder height. Press one weight upward, not directly overhead, but slightly in front of you. As you lower the weight down, lift the other one up. This is called a reciprocal press and I like to do it for coordination. Be slow and controlled in your movements, focusing on lifting and lowering the weight slowly, making sure that the rest of your body is still. Ten to twelve reps is a great number. Now 
Now put your weights down and let's take a 30 second rest and just shake it out. So while you're resting, keep moving. You can hydrate if you need to. You can do a few stretches. So pick up your weights and let's do a combination move. This is a trap raise, or you could call it a shoulder shrug to an upright row. So hold your weights with your palms facing down, resting them gently on your thighs. Simply shrug your shoulders upward towards your ears, hold and then slowly lower. For the second part of this exercise, lift your weights up towards your chin, leading with the elbows. Stay controlled on the way up, holding for a beat and then remain controlled on the way back down. You can use a count of three for your timing. Shrug and lift. Remember to keep your core tight throughout the entire movement. Just a few more. Give me one more, nice and slow. This shrug movement is my secret move for strapless dresses because they always look better with toned trap muscles. So let's take a 30 second rest again before moving on to our bicep and shoulder combo. Grab some water if you need to but just keep moving for the 30 seconds. For the bicep shoulder combo, hold your weights with your palms facing your sides. Now as you lift your weight, rotate your wrist so that at the top of the move, your palms face your chest. As we transition into the second phase of this move, rotate your wrists out and press the weight forward just above shoulder height. Slowly lower the weight, rotate your wrists and then lower back to the starting position. This movement should be slow and controlled and focus the entire time on keeping your core tight. Try to minimize all other body movements. Remembering to rotate the wrists each time. Slow and controlled. Just one more, 10 to 12 reps is plenty. Now let's take a 30 second rest to hydrate and stretch out the muscles. Just shake it out and stay on the move. You don't want to cool down. Now we're moving to bent over rows. I have a fun combo move for you. We're going from bent over single arm row to a double arm row and changing our hand position. Now this exercise requires that you get into a bent over position. We do this by putting your feet slightly apart and hinging at the hips pushing your butt back to ensure that you maintain a nice flat back and neutral spine. 
we're going to do a row with two different hand positions. First with the palms facing back, lift one weight and slowly lower, leading with your elbows to chest height, slowly lower. So as you get to the bottom of the movement, rotate your wrists so that in the second movement, palms are facing in like so. Okay, let's get started. Let's keep a slow and steady rhythm for 12 reps. So single, single arm, and then double. Keeping movements nice and slow. Control on the way up, control on the way down. Keep your core nice and tight for the entire move. Now if you're just starting out and you can't manage 10, that's okay. Just do as many as comfortable for you. Let's try one more. And let's put the weights down. And let's rest and shake it out. Do a few arm circles. Forward and back. Grab a drink if you need to. Let's take it down to the floor for a chest press move where we're going to do a single, single, double rhythm. So sit down on the floor, make sure your feet are planted firmly on the ground and slowly lower down, making sure your spine is firmly on the floor. So tuck your pelvis under and your back is flat, put your arms out wide and we're going to simply lift one weight and lower, lift the other weight and lower, and then lift them both together, rotating at the wrist. So let's do it slowly again. We're gonna lift and lower, lift and lower, and then let's lift both weights together, rotate in and come back down. So let's start out with our rep of 12 or 10. And then squeeze in, making sure that your back stays on the floor, your core stays nice and tight, and focus on really rotating the wrists in. This move works your coordination because it's working your brain and your muscles at the same time. Remembering to breathe and keeping that back flat on the floor throughout the entire move. Let's slow down the rhythm for the last few. Give me two more. Last one. Now put your weights down and we're going to do a quick tricep stretch from the floor before we get ready for our next exercise which is a great tricep dip. So just stretching out back of the arm, keeping the shoulders down. And then switch sides. Going up overhead, stretching out the tricep muscle. Now let's get into our perfect push-up position. This time our wrists are going to be slightly narrower than with a regular push-up. So have your wrists in, find your position up on your toes. And we're just going to slowly lower the body to the ground, but our arms are going back instead of out with a regular push-up. So we're going down and pushing up. 
What to a regular push up, you'll be out wide. But to work on the triceps, we're coming into this position. Lower down and push up. Keeping the core tight and breathing the whole time. Now if you need to modify, you can always drop to the knees, lower and lift. Give me two more. As a busy working mom, I fully understand that sometimes it's hard to find the time to fit in exercise, but I hope you can use my 10 minute series of videos to help you realize that even if you only have a few minutes to spare, your exercise time will add up throughout the week to help you reach your fitness goals. I hope you enjoyed this 10 minute upper body focus routine and will combine it with my other workouts to create a full body challenge.